Saving Grace Ministries began in 1899, and it began with a vision to house homeless men, men returning from prison who really needed to have accountability, shelter, and opportunity. And what we've grown into is a facility, a number of facilities that house and care for men and women returning from incarceration, as well as now an outreach to young adults, children, and those that uh, have really been marginalized and have a trajectory of life that would, would lead towards incarceration and we're able to impact them through sports recreation, affordable housing and providing long-term housing and a number of other outreaches that really is amazing to see what God has allowed to happen in, in the uh, journey of Saving Grace. What they did for me is when I get out, they gave me, you know, I was there, they gave me a place. I was living there when I get on parole. And then when I get off, they, them, they gave me a job and, you know, they gave me the opportunity to just uh, to put faith in me to do the job. And at the time, what they saw in me, I don't know, but they just saw a little something that they get, gave me a chance. During my, my time, I was like, I got to change. I got to find better ways how to uh, become a man, uh, become a human being, become more uh, an asset. It just helped stay focused like and not worry because I used to worry a lot I worry about things and try to make things happen and you know if you have God on your side you don't got to do that you just turn it over to him and you have to work your faith in order for it to uh, manifest in the song we're here to not be their voice but to give them a voice and let them rise and, and I and I go back to uh, not judging but holding them accountable and, and it's to win the love of their heart to say look we believe in you that, that this, this mental health diagnosis does not mean you're shackled to your past for the rest of your life. You can be set free. Christ can set you free. And in our journey, we're here to introduce that love to them that maybe no one else has ever spoken into their life, that they, they have a meaning and purpose in, in community. And so we see someone, and we see it all the time, that comes bitter, angry, and, and in that position, six months, 12 months, 18 months later, um, they're here. They're part of the family, part of our culture. They don't want to leave. To see those individuals now, 70 plus percent, staying out of prison and becoming meaningful members of community, that's it. That, that is just what community is about.